Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial or Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. And continuing on with this sofa bed tutorial, I want to zoom in here on the uh, little ottoman or the bench seat here. And if you notice, the way I had sculpted this using the soft drag tool, if you notice each side, especially um, from the cushion standpoint, each side looks very slightly different than the next. And what that will allow us to do is to use the same piece of um, geometry here, duplicate it or clone it many times, and um, rotate it 45 degrees. And it'll give a different appearance each time, and it won't look like the entire model has been rubber stamped from one single little creation. Uh, also notice that if you zoom in here you can see a little gap here so I'm just going to come over here to edge mode double click on that edge hit the R key and we'll just scale that in a little bit to hide that little gap there okay let me uh, alright so let's get started by creating the back for this sofa I'm going to come to a top view and I will come to a new mesh and I guess I could hide our little man we don't need to see him come over here grab a cube and just drag that out and perspective drag this up that should be good I do want my little man now Oops. and I'm going to get an idea on the size of this thing I think possibly I want this to come up a little bit higher Okay, that'll work. Select those two edges, Alt-C, and I want the movement to be symmetry, the count of two, and these will be the little wraparound pieces for the side here. There we go. Select that, that polygon, select that polygon, and select, oh, it's selecting through, let me delete those. I guess I could make the um, change in my preferences. B on the keyboard and we will bevel those forward. There we go. Edges. I'm just going to move this back, add a little bit of an angle to it. And let me see, 4.5 looks good. So select that one, select that one, R key, and I will make this 4.5 as well. Okay, polygon mode. Let's select those two. Actually, let me spin around to the bottom here first. I need to select these bottom pieces. I'm going to pause the video right here, change my preferences so that I'm not selecting through my object, and I'll be right back. Okay, now when I make my selection, I'm not also selecting the back faces, and that was done up here, System, Preferences, uh, under Remapping. It is right down here, polygon selection, front face is only before I had front face and back face. So with that fixed now, I can select these bottom polygons and delete them. Don't need them anymore. Select those two, Alt-C, still in symmetry mode and a count of two. I'm going to uh, put some edges here right there and do the same here control I mean alt C but here I'll just take a count of of one and I'm gonna have to have it in free mode and I'll set that there spacebar select those alt C 
Now, something that um, the uh, the uh, author, Mr. Chamberlain, did is when he put a loop slice here or an edge slice here, he set it at a much greater distance from the the face here, and that will give us, as he noted, a more rounded edge here. And I certainly like that idea. Select those, Alt C, and I'm just going to click right there. And let me see, I want this to be inwards a little bit more. And then uh, Alt C. There we go. Okay, now if we uh, hit our subdivision tool two times, see this gives us a nice nicely rounded contoured back for our sofa bed but I think we're gonna have to bring in the size of this a little bit I'm going to um, hit my O key and for the inactive meshes I'm going to go same as the active because now I want to make sure this is not floating above my cushions. I don't want the back to be floating above my cushions and it is so edge mode double click there which will loop it all the way around and I will, there we are, drag it down in there. Okie dokie. There is our sofa bed for now. I think this back here could be scaled in just a little bit more. And the back is not going to be visible, so I'm not going to worry about the back there. Okay, I'm happy with that. We're going to get on in this uh, next video and start creating some pillows. And so I'll see you on the next one.